Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all of my amazing Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Monday, happy new moon, happy new year. <laughs> Happy everything, Scorpios. Let's get right into your, your Monday video. This is what you can expect this week. Yes, let's go. Most High God of the Universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Scorpios as it relates to every area of their lives. Woo! And areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, intellect and power, and spirituality and where they need to take action. Scorpios, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description bar. Let's go. Yes, I see somebody reaching out to their mother. Whether your mother is in this realm or if your mother has transitioned, I see somebody reaching out to their mother to get to the root of some, some things that have been affecting your sacral chakra. Again, whether your mom is here or whether your mom is in another realm, as some also known as died or transitioned or passed on i see somebody reaching out to them um reaching out to their spirit whether they are with you or not whether they are whether they're incarcerated whether they are like physically here but you're not able to talk to them on every single day or whether they have transitioned passed on or whatever i see someone or whether they are here and you don't have a good relationship with them or whatever the situation is or even if you do have a good relationship with them i'm seeing you connect with your mother. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel, Wheel of Fortune. We also have the Nine of Wands. We also have the Queen of Swords. We have the World Card. We have the Six of Cups. Yes. Somebody is going back to some childlike faith. You know, really, really getting to the root of why the there's such a depth of emotion. Something happened to somebody between the ages of 8 and 14 years old. Whether you moved abruptly, lost a loved one, someone who was... um um. um like a, a, a force in your lives, like grandmother, grandfather, your mom, dad, maybe you lost the best friend, but it really affected your emotions as, as a child, right? And so it really affected all of your relationships moving forward emotionally, where you poured all this intensity and emotions into your relationships. And when you didn't get the same thing in return, it caused some of you all to get depressed, sad, and just kind of sort of like look down into, like how I see this person is looking down into a black hole. And just, you know, really, really tapping into that maternal energy, learning how to nurture yourselves, going after that feeling, you know, like that, that feeling that a lot of people lose as kids, especially if you have, if you're a person who's had, uh, you know, not the best or healthiest relationship with your mom, you know, learning how to replenish all the energy, the water that you cried out, you know, from your body or the, or the energy that you put into it. Some of you all have really come through some long and arduous journeys of enlightenment. In the past, you would have looked at it as like you were burned by a lot of people. But now you're starting to understand why you are the way that you are. Because you had to go all the way back. For some of you all, like I said, just take what resonates with you. Some of you all had to go all the way back to childhood to see why why were you over nurturing relationships like pouring so much and you all are a pretty intense sign but somebody was overdoing it like really overdoing it i mean you can put that intensity into your work you can put that intensity into your hobbies creating a business or whatever but somebody was pouring all their emotions into a relationship and just was not getting the return on their investment so what i'm seeing now is you all tap into your divine masculine side right because you all are divine feminine by default but I'm saying you putting, locking those emotions away and making people earn it. <laughs> You're not just meeting somebody and all of a sudden I'm giving all of my loyalty to this person I just met. You're not doing that anymore. Yeah. When we overgive and over nurture, something happened. Something happened long, long, long time ago, long before you met people. So I see you making people earn those emotions before you say, I love you. You're <laughs> okay. It, that feeling better be mutual. Well, you're not getting shocked and the person doesn't say it back to you. Or like, whoa, what was that, Scorpio? Nah. Before you pay all the, pour all of this emotion into it, like, 
a lot of times people think that they're just, you know, giving, 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 hoping, hoping that it's going to, you know, the person is going to, the energy is going to repay it back and you don't get that. You don't get it at all. Somebody's getting to the root of their traumas, generational curses. Somebody is, you, it looks like this week is going to be a week of like some real serious reflection, Scorpio, where you're really thinking about, okay, I need to go back and I need to break some generational chains for where I need to break some generational traumas as to why I was over nurturing people that, and I just wasn't getting the same from them because it can be disappointing. You give people all of this emotion and they give you nothing. You're like, uh, the person, a robot, like <laughs> what's going on with them. But I do see you all somehow connecting with your mother, like going back to that, what you were hoping would be a very nurturing experience. And then you over nurturing people in your life, hoping that they would give you some of what you got back. But I do see somebody like thinking about either scheduling a, um, a therapy appointment or really having a, um, welcoming in their, their mother spirit. Again, your mother could still be alive and you not have a great relationship with her. Even if she transitioned, you can still welcome that spirit. And I can, I can talk about that on a later and another reading, but that's what I'm saying. I'm keeping, I'm keeping the Monday reading, Monday and Wednesday reading very short. We're just getting to the point of what to expect this week. But that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody call their mother spirit in through meditation. That's what I'm seeing. Like really getting to the root of why the intensity of pouring all of this emotion into people, right? And so some of you all have felt like I've gotten burned for the last time. I'm walking away from some emotion. The person, the energy you could be walking away from could be a fellow Scorpio. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Pisces. But for some people, somebody could have um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. So the person who burned you could be a fellow Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But they could also have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius somewhere in their chart where you just felt like, I I'm done. Like, seriously, you have burned me for the last time. I have poured too much into you, and I haven't gotten almost nothing back. So I have no more emotion. You know, kind of like, let me pick this car back up. See this water? It's like putting a um, fire up under water until it just completely evaporates. Like, I'm just dry. I don't have any emotions for it. I'm done. Right? That kind of thing. So just be just be patient with the, all this, this whole process of um, going through this, of walking away from that. Some people are like really nervous and they're kind of sort of doubting that they're making the right decision to walk away from it. Guess what, Scorpio? You made the right decision. Here we have the um, financial independence. This is what you can expect. Just because you took that one bold act of walking away and not looking back. And so again, it could be a little nervous for some of you all to walk away and not look back. But I'm telling you, it's going to be replaced by financial independence. And you're going to have an opportunity now taking your time, slowing down, taking your time and vetting energies coming your way. Yeah, some people make decisions because they feel like, OK, you know, I'm a I'm a great earner. This person is also a great earner. You know, we have there's some passion there. We can make a, maybe make a good team until you realize you're not compatible at all. You could be in the same field and then realize, you know what, we're not compatible. And that's what that's what a lot of you all is. It's kind of like somebody was premature and just pouring so much into something. But it's not with regret because you could have had kids with this person or whatever. And you love your kids. But then mm -mm. here we have a 23. Uh, we have family. So, again, this person could have been somebody that you were married to, somebody that you were thinking about creating a family with or something like that. But you realize mm -mm, we're not compatible. Let me move on. I need to get to the root of some other things. Yep, this is what you can expect this week because you're looking at the bigger picture. You're also looking at expansion. Like I said, that Sagittarius is right here, but um, this is also set when um, Sagittarius is ruling planet Jupiter. But again, you're looking at expansion. You're really looking at the big picture here. Like, okay, let me take my time and let me slow, slow down so I can start vetting some, putting my emotions to the side, not pouring so much of my intensity into it. But let me have a spiritual conversation with my mother and find out where, where did all of this come from? Like, you know, getting to the root of some things. But that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Again, happy new year. Happy first of the month. <laughs> happy new moon. 
just happy, happy, happy. So again, I see you getting to the root of some things. And again, you have time and money in your favor. So take your time and kind of sort of get to the root of some answers so that moving forward, you know, while you're building your legacy wealth for yourself, you're also going to meet your person that you're going to be you're building your legacy with. That is what I have for you. Bye.